European scientists say they have made a major breakthrough, in their quest to develop practical nuclear fusion the energy process that powers the stars. The UK-based Jet Laboratory has smashed its own world record, for the amount of energy it can extract by squeezing together two forms of hydrogen. The experiments produced 59 megajoules of energy over 5 seconds. This is more than double what was achieved in similar tests back in 1997. It's not a massive energy output only enough to boil about 60 kettles worth of water. But the significance is that it validates design choices, that have been made for an even bigger fusion reactor, now being constructed in France. The I. T. E. Our facility in southern France is supported by a consortium of world governments, including from EU member states, the US, China and Russia it is expected to be the last step in proving nuclear fusion, can become a reliable energy provider in the second half of this century. Operating the power plants of the future based on fusion would produce, no greenhouse gases and only very small amounts of short-lived radioactive waste. Fusion works on the principle that energy can be released by forcing together, atomic nuclei rather than by splitting them, as in the case of the fission reactions that drive existing nuclear power stations. In the core of the Sun, huge gravitational pressures allow this to happen, at temperatures of around 10 million Celsius. At the much lower pressures that are possible on Earth, temperatures to produce fusion need to be much higher above 100 million Celsius. No materials exist that can withstand direct contact with such heat. So, to achieve fusion in a lab, scientists have devised a solution in which a superheated gas, or plasma, is held inside a donut-shaped magnetic field. The joint European Taurus JET, sited at Cullum in Oxfordshire, has been pioneering this fusion approach for nearly 40 years. And for the past 10 years, it has been configured to replicate the anticipated it or set up. The French lab's preferred fuel to make the plasma will be a mix of two forms, or isotopes, of hydrogen called deuterium and tritium. JET was asked to demonstrate a lining for the 80 cubic meter toroidal vessel, enclosing the magnetic field that would work efficiently with these isotopes. For its record-breaking experiments in 1997, JET had used carbon, but carbon absorbs tritium which is radioactive. So for the latest tests, new walls for the vessel were constructed out of the metals beryllium and titanium. These are ten times less absorbent. The jet science team then had to tune their plasma to work effectively in this new environment. Jet can't actually run any longer because, its copper electromagnets get too hot. For iter, internally cooled superconducting magnets will be used. Fusion reactions in the lab famously consume more energy to initiate than they can output. At JET, two 500-megawatt flywheels are used to run the experiments.